Robert Fuchslischka was a German actor and writer. He was born in 1870 in Homburg von der Höhe and attended the Realschule in Homburg and later in Coburg, before running off to the sea at age 16. After serving as a sailor for several years, he abandoned his ship and became a secretary at a plantation in the Dutch East Indies. However, he was forced to return to Germany in 1893 due to malaria. He became an actor playing in Vienna, Hamburg or Berlin, before being permanently engaged in the theatre in Bad Kissingen. He retired from acting due to health reasons in 1924 and died in 1935 in Bad Nauheim. We will review his 1915 Pitekonat das Urbenschwesen. We see a steamship making its way to Africa with two men on deck, one being Dr. Georg Schöbel and the other being Reverend Quatschtrubel. They are having an argument about some flying fish. Before Dr. Schöbel gets so annoyed by the Reverend, he purposefully wants to cut to the quick, as it were, and begins to say why he is going to Africa, merely to create a human-ape hybrid. Ignoring human classification for a second, we know what the Doctor means. He wants to do so to win the hand of his beloved Ethel, the daughter of the New York millionaire Theron who would only give her to him if he took the money Taran gave him and multiplied it tenfold. And Schubel decided a human hybrid would be the best money-making scheme. This enrages Quadstorbel, who says his idea is nothing less than the humiliation of humanity itself, and that the whole world would turn against Schubel as the most heinous criminal if he were to do so. Schubel laughs in his face and they part bitter enemies. The doctor arrives in the Belgian Congo and buys a woman off Nyangan, the local wizard, whom he fools with tales of heroism and Greek myth. The girl, whom he calls Maya, is tasked with feeding a captive chimpanzee in a cage. But Schubel expects a different outcome, and one night after issuing a terrible scream, the girl is found unconscious in the cage and the animal is gone. Taking Maya to England, Schubel oversees her pregnancy with care, while in New York, Quatschtrubel worms himself into Taran's house, and despite being a reverend, fell in love with Ethel as well, and tried to paint Schubel as the worst scoundrel imaginable for his own ends. Whether what he says is accurate is another matter entirely. The child is born, a furry human-like ape that Schubel calls Peter Gonat. Sometime later, a Jewish impresario named Moses Meyer gets wind of the creature and tries to convince the doctor to sell it, but Schubel will not budge. Then, when Meyer returns home, he is met by the Reverend Quatschtrubel, just come from New York, or rather by Nathan Meyer, his own son, the thief that ran away from home and abandoned his faith and his family name. He came to his father to try and produce a fake human ape to ruin Schubel, but Meyer refuses. Then, when he leaves, Maya goes to Schäbel and tells him of the plans of his own son, which he promises to help the doctor guard against. Taken on a big university tour, Maya hates her misbegotten child as much as she loves Schäbel, and suffers immensely when she sees him reunited with Ethel. In the meantime, Quatschtrubel makes a journey to Africa, getting papers to invalidate all evidence Schäbel has as to the nature of his Pitekonat, and taking Nyangan with him as his supposed father. Only the wizard plagues the reverend every night by sending him bad dreams, uses his idol to prophesy Squatchtrubel's eventual death, and steals the papers and burns them. The reverend, now having lost everything, goes to the lecture where Schöbel is showing off the Pitekonat and shoots both the doctor and Maya to death, the girl sacrificing herself for the doctor but in vain. Squatchtrubel escapes on a ship, the same one the heartbroken Ethel is returning to New York on. He tries to kiss her, but she throws him overboard and he is torn to bits by the ship propeller. An unusual little romance, but the language is at times somewhat offensive, so be warned. Also, the Pitekonat is really just a footnote in the story.